Hi there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play Clocks by Coldplay. So this is just the piano part of the entire song. We're going to break this down into four different sections, which will allow you to play the entire song the whole way through. So let's start with the right hand first. So I'm going to break this down into chords. So the first chord is an E flat major inversion, which is G, B flat, an E flat and you're gonna play that from top to bottom so E flat B flat G E flat B flat G E flat B flat so that's the pattern and then the next chord is an inversion of a B flat minor chord so we have D flat B flat and then F and you're going to do that same pattern again and you're going to do that and you're going to do that once more and then you're going to come down to an F minor position which is F, A flat and C and then it repeats so notice how I am accenting the top note each time like this So the left hand is playing uh, the same thing in unison, just an octave lower. These are the fingers that might be, that could be sensible. So one, two and four. And then one, two, five. And then one, three, five. So I'm going to put that together now, a bit slower. So that um, concludes the majority of the songs. There's only three more sections left to learn. So for the first sense, so when he starts singing, you're still going to be playing those same chords, but you're just going to be holding them down. But um, they differ ever so slightly. So the first chord is an E flat major with an E flat in the bass. And then there's a B flat minor add 11. So that means in the right hand, you're going to play F, B flat, D flat, E flat. And then I'm going to play that again. And then you're going to play F minor 7 this time, which is so an F in the bass with E flat, A, and C. And it's back to E flat major again. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that is the verses covered. So the next section is the like the bridge or the middle eight section. Um, so we've got this pattern that moves up here, which is A flat, G, E flat, A flat, G, E flat, A flat, G, and then A flat, G. D flat and then does that again and then 
C. On the left hand with that, you're going to play an E flat major chord. So the same chords that you play in the intro, and then B flat minor, and again. And then F minor. So I'm going to put this um, together for you now, slowly. So that also forms the end as well, where it just plays until it fades out. So I'll play that a bit quicker. And there's one last section left to do, and then that's the entire song covered. Um, is the enough? else compares is that part so to do that I'm just gonna move my camera slightly further down so we need some slightly lower notes so you're going to pulse these chords now so the first chord is a G flat uh, major 7 so in the right hand that means you're gonna be playing a B flat a D flat and an F so effectively um, a B flat minor you're gonna play that 16 times And then you're going to play a D flat major inversion, which is A flat, D flat, and F. And you're going to play that eight times. And you're going to play an A flat six, which is an A flat, C, E flat, and F. You can play that eight times. And then that repeats again. And that's the chord progression for the right hand. So the left hand, you're going to play a G flat. And then you're going to play a D flat. And then an A flat. And then that repeats. So I'm going to put that together for you, slowly first. So that is a bit quicker, so I'll play it at the approximate speed it's meant to be. So that concludes all the sections needed to play this song. I have listed in the description the full chord song lyric structure, which will help you piece the song together. Um, but again, it's just made up of the four sections that we have covered today. So I hope this video has been useful and that you have enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if it has. If you haven't subscribed to Bytes House Piano already, please do hit that subscribe button for many more tutorials like this one and on classical music, jazz music, help with theory. If you have any piano tutorial requests, 
please see where you can submit your request in the comment section below. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.